Last week we filled the tank with saltwater brine. Now the tank has been left alone for a week, so the saltwater brine could settle, but some of it wanted out. Now it's time to finally test how well the tank works. Will it get stained as the last time? Only one way to find out. Playing with the ferro fluid! Finally some fun stuff! Yes! But first, we gotta fill the container. Please keep in mind that even though it's not very entertaining, the process of making a well-functioning ferrofluid container is actually the one that's the hardest to find info about online, so this is where we do public service for people who want to make this place in the future. As we did last time, we still boiled down the ferrofluid about 10% in weight. However, since last time we've been told by reliable sources that this is more or less a waste of time. A lot of work for minimal reward. In all of our tests we've been boiling down though, so we don't have any first-hand experience on the difference that it makes. Before we continue, I just have to point out how cool it is that the ferrofluid acts as its own magnetic stair. There's no white little stair at the bottom of this beaker. Let's enjoy some footage of that effect while we discuss some more serious stuff. Because when we contacted the faculty glass blower, we made a big mistake. We said, you don't have to clean the glass before you glue it, because we'll treat it in a strong base bath, so it'll be removed by that anyway. This turned out to be incorrect, and even after two rounds in the base bath, it was still quite dirty on the inside. When we realized this, we kind of accepted defeat. Uh, Alright, we have to make a new tank, but that doesn't really matter, because the one we have is already a tad too small. But we don't really have anything to lose by filling this one with ferrofluid. Except, you know, the ferrofluid that we use. But the experience we gain is worth it. Plus, we will, at the very least, get a cool little tank that we can mess around with without fear of ruining it. When we had filled the tank, we could immediately see that the ferrofluid started to stick to the glass. So we figured, okay, this is bad, but what if we just ignore this problem, give it a week to solve itself and come back to test it later? The idea was that this would give the ferrofluid and salt with the brine some extra time to settle. So we sealed the tank with silicone and gave it a week by itself. Casey Hughes, the guy with the awesome kinetic ferrofluid sculptures that we gave a shout out to in the previous episode, has informed us that if you want the display to last a long time, any kind of sealant that has to be used should never come in contact with the ferrofluid. This includes silicone and the epoxy that binds the glass plates together. We'll probably keep using silicone in our future displays because it's so much more convenient and cheaper than the alternatives. But if you want a seriously long-lived display, these are the measures you will have to make. It's been a week since we filled the tank and uh, some of the saltwater brine managed to crystallize and penetrate the silicone sealant, but after a short cleanup we're ready to test how the tank holds up. We didn't manage to clean the tank properly on the inside, uh, so we're kind of expecting the ferrofluid to stick to the surface of the tank, uh, which then again makes the tank useless to us. But uh, let's see how it goes. Can you pass me some magnets, please? Well, of course, sir. Of course. <laughs> it's 
kind of disturbing how erotic that feels. <laughs> There. <laughs> okay, we can clearly see that the fur fluid is actually not sticking too much no. up here, but it's quite sticky down here. Where where it's been lying for a week, it's quite messy actually. That this line won't go away. Sure. Can I borrow your magnet? And try yeah. it? Or maybe if you try to pull it this way and I try to pull it this way. Yeah, try to separate. Yeah, make it. Okay, so there's no fur fluid here now, but it's still completely dark. Okay, so this is actually a lot less sticky than I would have expected it to be. This yeah. is this is not bad. This is and for uh, it can be used kind of for consistency. If if the if the lower part is always black, yeah, it, it, that's not actually a problem because there's always going to be some fur fluid there anyway. So we're not going to yeah, use good that. Good point. point. Now now people won't see how little fur fluid is left. <laughs> <laughs> we're hiding. For all practical measures, we have infinite yeah. amount of fur fluid. Oh yeah. Nobody will know that we're almost running out. <laughs> oh god. This is... Oh, this is so nice. Ah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, bring, bring out the big magnets. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Take it easy. <laughs> So, if you're wondering what this is, we have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> we found it. We found it in the hallways. Yeah. You have to actually drop some fair flame. It's too much. Yeah. I can steal some. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fair flame. Look, it's, it's refilling down here. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Arrival? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's communicating. Yeah, it's communicating with us. I think we need a little linguistic on our team. Yeah. And also Hawkeye. <laughs> also Hawkeye. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, can you stand up the big ring? Yeah. Don't know what that is. is there there? This is also something. That's fun. a tesseract? Oh, it's something. Careful. Whoops. Well, doesn't really matter. No. Okay, okay, okay. This is basically bad, isn't it? If I can get... Why don't you me the smile or something? Yep. We expected to happen. Yeah, that's one of the nastier effects of fur fluid. It's very messy. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's not removed. No. It it still works, it, but it's. Yeah. I mean, it's. And it, it looks like maybe it over time we'll loosen. Like, it's dirty there, but. Yeah. It's... But it's uh, much better than it than it anticipated, at least. Yeah, I would say this is not bad at all. I mean, actually, it's not really sticking that well. It's more like just hanging around a little longer than it should. Yeah. It's not completely stuck like in the... In no. the I can show you the, um, yeah. the prototype. This is how yeah. it looks when it really sticks. That. And that's that's how crystallized, uh, crystallization looks. I mean, this, this does not come off. This is completely stuck. Yeah. So... Yeah. Fire is still good though. So that's the... Yeah. This is actually better. I still want to try the Watchmen logo. Oh, crap. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> ah. Shit. This is where, like, uh, yeah. magnets are fun. Yeah, but this is where, like, you should have, say, almost like 252 electromagnets standing behind it, where yeah. you can electronically control. 
Maybe through an audio or something? Okay, I have an idea. I'm just gonna pull it up and then remove my hands really quickly. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, for a split second there, it's, it's a logo. Oh god. I think that can be cool in slow motion. Split second there, it's, it's a logo. Oh god. I think that can be cool in slow motion. During editing, I finally realized how this should have been done, and it took some time, but let's just say we figured it out eventually. Hopefully, nobody gets too mad at us. The trick was to use magnets to hold the magnets. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, remove it before we yeah. remove it again. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It's uh, uh, it's a messy area. It's not going to be that mark right there. Yeah, that's stuck. That doesn't look good. No, but I like, okay. well, no. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. So it just but the only place where the fair flip can stay for a long, longer amount of time is actually at the bottom because there, there is already yeah. painted the glass. We have to be. I mean, we are gonna have um, what do you call them? Res residuals uh, st sticking to the screen here. Mm -hmm. After a while, after it's been used, uh, we we will have residual ferrofluid in the most used areas. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely gonna happen, but. This is. It could probably be uh, depending on how strong. Uh, okay, oh. we're we're getting new salt crystals now oh, from shit. just. This has been like how many minutes? Should we? Uh, do you think we're gonna epoxy it now or later? I mean, it's obviously not sealed right now. So. No, no, but I was just wondering if if we're like gonna wait for like say three four hours, you can actually do time lapse of the. Source crystals. That's creating. We have this rig set up to show you how how the salt crystallizes in time lapse, but I don't really have a micro lens, so it, I didn't get a close up. But then <laughs> we found this in the trash, an old camera lens that fits very well to the cell phone camera. Here we can get some real close ups of the salt crystals. So. What we're doing now is that we're 3D printing a holder for that lens, which we quickly scrambled up in Fusion 360, basically sliding that lens down into this holder that we're Since we had this problem with the salt crystals forcing their way through the seal cone, we made an extra seal with some epoxy, since it cures a lot harder than the seal cone does. We've had to add new epoxy layers two or three more times since filming this. The salt really doesn't want to stay inside the tank. This is already a rather long video, so we'll do the outro as a voiceover before we show you some close-ups of the final result. We really enjoyed making this video and we hope you liked it too. If you did, please consider telling us down in the comment section, throw us a thumbs up or subscribe. If you really want to support the channel, tell a friend about us. We're still a very small channel and could use some extra exposure because we're so close to the really fun part where we can finally combine the furry fluid and the electronics again. 
We're actually gonna assemble and test the electronics in the next video. So you'll finally get the first picture of how this display performs already in three weeks time. And maybe earlier if you follow us on social media. We haven't even seen that ourselves yet, so fingers crossed it works. Anyways, that's all for now. So until next time, happy, happy procrastinating. procrastinating.